Welcome back guys to another day of Kitty Teaches You How To Stardew. We are on the eighth day of spring, year one, um, where we are actually going to be doing some more, guess what? Farming! Hi Whiskers, how are you doing sweetheart? Did you make me some tea this morning? Did you empty your litter box? Can you wake up? Fine. Looks like it's raining outside, and you can tell because it's dark, and you can hear the rain. So let's check out the boob tube, living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences lots last a lot longer than basic wood. I will be honest. On the other game that I'm playing, I'm in year three, and after several restarts and trying, fences break down in about a month, and they will break down, like every single piece will break down. They'll break down in front of your eyes, and then you have to replace them. And then the next one will break, and then you have to replace them. And let me tell you, it causes you to rage so bad, because you don't get anything back when they break. You're just wasting your wood. So I would say if you don't, if you have the wood, if you have the hardwood, make it out of hardwood, or the stone, or the iron, or anything else. Don't use the cheap wood to build your fences unless you absolutely have to. And then know that you're going to have to replace it within one month. All right, guys, it's time to go outside. It's time to get a little wet. So because of this, oh, you know what? I didn't even check our luck. We should probably check our luck we might want to go to the mines. Well, it's vertical. The hidden knowledge of the future, we came to the right place. The spirits feel neutral. The day is in my hands. Just sleep, kitty cat. It's fine. I got this. Pull up some more potatoes. Get rid of some kale. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And we're going to put this in here. Our stone, our fiber, our wood, our coal, our potatoes, our kale. <gasps> Yay! Okay, now did we have... Huh. Alright, you know, I think we're going to take two of the smallmouth bass. And we are going to go up and into the mines. I think we're going to go into the mines. We have to bring him a carp. It's only 90. Yeah, we're going to go into the mines. We're going to get some more stuff. We're going to get some more ores. And because we need to make a furnace. In order to make a furnace, we need 20 copper ore and 25 stone. We don't have that much copper ore. And we need to get the slime so we can get initiated. So once we get the initiation into the group, then we can actually start buying some better equipment for ourselves. Because let me tell you, this axe does nothing. It's garbage. Oh, great. Three clay. And to be honest, I probably shouldn't have done that because now I'm going to have to carry it. I have to carry it with me. I didn't think about that. Oh, well. That's not a big deal. We can get rid of it later if we need to. Clay is something that's all over. And actually, I'm going to pick this up because we are going to be going through food quickly because we're going to be out of energy. And I want to be able to have enough to kind of do a full day of mining. I love these trees. They're so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so we're going to go into the elevator. Remember, these things save every five steps. Okay, so we're going to kind of clear all this out. You can always check, you know, depending on what you want to do. You can, you know, just clear everything out as you go. You can kind of just check things out as you go. Really depends on how you want to play the game. Remember, these stones right here, they kind of look like they have the little tuck in them. They will always give you two stones. These may not give you anything. Oh, there's, there's our, uh, our level. Oh. Hey, look, we got another one. Nice. We're still going to just keep checking it out just in case. 
Now you can left click to hit these things, or you can right click to block. So if they jump at you, you can right click. And of course, because I was doing it too early, it didn't show you how to do it. This area typically will have um, boxes and barrels, so you can actually cut them open for some really cool loot inside. So we're going to go down. Oh, this is the ores. These are the ores that you want. They're always going to have, um, these are going to be your copper ores. And remember, these stones right here with like the kind of, you know, it looks like they're squished. These and this one, uh, oops, wrong ones. These are the ones that are going to give you multiple rocks. But these are the ores that we want. And of course, look at this. I don't have enough ore. I don't have enough space to use this. So we're going to eat this ore, uh, LG. Because I don't need it. And I'd rather have the ore instead. And we're going to keep the rocks. There we go. So if I have the choice of like, hitting the rocks that I know is going to have something versus not, I'm going to do that. This guy, oops, let me get rid of these slimes. This guy is going to give you bug meat, which bug meat you can actually turn into fishing bait later on, which you're going to need fishing bait once you get the crab pots. And we'll go into all these details later on. But for right now, we just want to get through another five layers of the mines before we have to go to sleep. But remember, every five levels, the game saves. And that's what you want to do, is you want to get through five levels. Oh my god, what is that? Okay. He's gonna hurt. And... We have this. Okay, so we're gonna eat this wild horseradish, because we are now a little bit under. And instead of throwing something out, we're just gonna eat this and we're gonna be given a cherry bomb. Now this cherry bomb, I'm gonna show you what this does. You can put this down, make sure you get far away. It's just gonna blow everything up. Except for, of course, the bad guys. Wow, is that what it looks like without the rock? That's kind of cool looking. And, oh, we are given, throw this sap out, a crab. And we're actually going to get rid of the bug beats. We can have the shell instead. Oh, this is the problem with having only 10 inventory. Is that you can't always have what you want. Can't always have what you want. So I'm going to put this here. I want the earth crystal instead. earth crystal is much more important than the bomb and we can make the bombs later not a big deal okay so now we still got to find the ladder which we haven't found yet so we're gonna have to just kind of go through and kind of kill all these and collect all the rocks and this is not even like far deep into the caverns either where you're going to need a lot more inventory space. Hey, look, there's a box. Nice. Okay. The easiest way to get these slimes is just kind of back them up into a corner. Initiation. We got six out of ten. We got to do four more. And that will be accepted. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, get rid of this geode. So now this is a small but light blade. One to three damage, two to five. So realistically, this rusty sword is gonna do a heck of a lot more damage. But this thing's gonna probably be faster to use. Yeah, see? Oh, that looks really bad. But that's okay. I'm just gonna grab these ores right here. See what else we can find and moving on up let's see oh we got another slime up here we can defeat another earth crystal we got a lot more um got a lot more ores oh that's a topaz 
I'm actually gonna get rid of this knife because we don't need it. And you can't actually sell the weapons, which is kind of sucky. I don't know why you can't sell them or you can't like, yeah, you, know, you should be able to sell them because maybe the blacksmith will like them. He can melt them down, you would think, but no. So I got, I ate my two fish because I'm gonna need the energy. Watch this. Ha ha! See, I blocked it. Ha ha! Uh, blocking doesn't always do everything. But if you actually push them up against the wall so they can't jump out at you, you just keep hitting them over and over again. Oh, he looks upset. Okay. And now we got to just find the stairs. And that's, I think, is the most hard part. Now, remember, the luck, guys, the luck is super important because the luck will have more ores available for you. If you have a good luck day, you're going to have more ores and you're going to find the ladder so you can descend much quicker as opposed to breaking all the rocks, using all of your energy, and then having it be the last one that you find. That's the most annoying thing ever. Okay. Now, also, here's a cool thing. You can actually cut those down and uh, the, the lights. You can actually cut the lights and use the torch at home. You can steal the torches. So, like, when you're ready to go, take the torch. That's really cool. And this way you don't actually have to craft them yourself. You don't have to waste, you know, your own stuff. That was sneaky. Sneaky, bitch. Die. Okay, so our journal is updated. Initiation. Now we can enter the Adventurer's Guild. We've proven our worth. All right. There we go. We gotta keep an eye on our energy, too, because trust me, you do not want to pass out in here. If you pass out in here, bad things are going to happen. Not only are people going to pick your pockets and take your money, but you're going to somehow forget how to go down and up in these levels. So let's just say you got through 10 levels of the mine. It's going to be like, oh, you forgot the last seven. So you're only going to be able to remember the first few. And then you're, you have to do it all over again. That's annoying. So make sure you bring enough food. Because right now, we're out of food. Aha! And look at this. If we run out of food, we're not going to get to... Oh god, this area is infested. Lots of bad guys. Yep. This is going to This could be bad. This could be really bad. This could be really bad. We might die in here. Okay, we might actually have to come back for this. But we're going to see. Oh geez. Yeah, we we may have to come back to this. Cause this is a little scary. Alright, we got hardwood here. <sighs> what do I want to get rid of? Kind of we should get rid of the Oh, it's just regular wood? I got rid of a crab for regular wood. See, but if we had if we had luck, we might be able to. Oh, jeez, what the heck is that? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, jeez. Okay, so there's not actually a lot of. Oh, so wait a minute. In order to get by this, we are actually going to have to kill all these. Oh my gosh. So we got him into the wall, into the corner. So we can do this. We can do this. Come on. We can get these in here. Come on. Over here. Over here. Over here. Come on, guys. We're going to sneak this by. Come on. Shit. Let's get him pissed. Let's push him up against the wall. Yeah, you can't go anywhere. We don't have anything else to eat. We're gonna push you up against the wall and we're gonna eat, well, I'm not gonna eat you, but we're gonna kill you. Okay, yes. Got you. 
You're up against the wall. You can't go anywhere. Good. Come on. Come on over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know my inventory's full. Push you, push you. There we go. You might have to adjust yourself just a little bit. Shit. This could be bad. Don't worry guys, the levels get much easier as the as the as you move further down in the levels and as you upgrade your weapons. It's all about upgrading your weapons. Okay, so now we just need to beat this guy. Be careful staying out here, because you're gonna get those fucking juggy things. There we go. Okay. That was bad. That could have been really bad. Those things will actually hit you from behind. Okay, we just need to kill him. Inventory full. Where's the other one? Come on. Come at me, bro. You need... Come on. I need to kill you. There we go. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. One more time. Yes! So that sucked. That sucked majorly. And boots, which I'm gonna get rid of the wood. Okay, so now in order to put these boots on, you wanna go to your inventory and you can take these boots, put them right there, bam. So now we actually have an extra for defense and an extra for immunity. I'm not gonna go down another level because I'm going to die. So we're actually gonna get out of here. We're gonna go to the Adventurers Guild. And... Hi, well this is the Adventurers Guild. We are gonna go talk to this pirate guy. Oh, wow, hey look at this is all the stuff we can buy. So right now, our rusty sword does two to five damage. We can buy extra stuff for a lot of money, but that's not what I want to do. So we got in here. Uh, monster eradication goals. 27 out of a thousand slimes. Cave insects. They're so stupid duckies. I hate those. So, see, Gil. And uh, this is going to be Gil. Come back and you got something to show me, kid. Gil's. Gil's kind of like my cat kind of worthless and likes to sleep but that's the adventurers guild and that's where you're going to upgrade your weapons you would think you can get it done at the blacksmith you can't so we're not going to all right we are going to go this way and around we're actually going to cut through the village or through the town because because we're going to check to see if there's anything else that we can do on the help wanted and hey look at this Got a daffodil. And I didn't even listen to my own advice by keeping the scythe as the um, the choice tool to be activated. Because I'm starting to run low on energy. I got like 73 energy. 29 out of 100 health. Oh my gosh. And I was like, yeah, you know what? We can actually... Oh, who are you? If you're lucky, you might see a frog in this weather. Well, hello, Sebastian. Bastion, Seb, I don't know. Kind of like him. He's a cutie. A little too emo for my taste, but he's definitely cute. I give him that. But we will definitely go and romance all the men and all the ladies. And we'll see uh, which one's going to be our perfect choice. So we're going to go take our wet self back home. Let's get rid of our daffodil. We're going to keep this. Um, get rid of one quartz, one earth crystal, one copper ore, just so you guys can see how much it's worth. I'm going to keep the topaz, mainly because I don't... There's a lot of quests that will ask for a topaz. And I'm actually going to get rid of some of these 
parsnip so we can get a little bit more cash. Okay. We don't have that much energy left, but we do have a little bit, so we are going to at least use it. Because I hate wasting energy, and that's the number one mistake. And I say there's so many number one mistakes, but realistically, there... Use the right weapon, Kitty. There's so many things that you can do uh, wrong in this game, but there's so many things you can do right. I mean, there's so many things that are going on, guys. So if you miss something the first year, no big deal. Have patience. It'll come back around. Don't worry. You just got to put the time in. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. So many people are just like, oh my gosh, I missed out on this and I missed out on that. Don't worry about it. If you didn't, if you can't get it, who cares? Get it next year. But it is all about the time management, so don't forget about that. Okay, so we're going to head back home because it's now 1130. It's going to take us a little bit to get over there, clean out our inventory. Let's see. We should make another couple of chests, but that's, you know, once we actually get some inventory going. I'm actually going to sell a kale so I can actually show you guys. And a chub. Chub, 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 fishy. Because I want you guys to see how much this stuff is worth. There we go. We're going to go back in here. Yes, I know it's getting late. It's midnight. Kitty cat, still sleeping. My bed is calling to me. Level two mining. Oh, good. And now we can actually make a staircase, which I believe takes a hundred stones. And with that 100 stones, you would actually be able to drop the staircase down. It is a one-time use. Most people wait to use it in the mines in the desert. You don't really want to use it in the mines that we were just in today because it's kind of a waste for a lot of rocks. But it will drop you down a level no matter where you are. Use it in case of emergency, and that's pretty much it. Uh, level 1 combat. New crafting ring. A sturdy ring. Ooh. That's kind of cool. So here we go. We got farming. We got 250, foraging 30, 50, and fishing 80, and mining $410, guys, or G's, or coins, or rubles, or whatever you want to call it. That's actually pretty good. Our parsnips are 140 for four of them, which is actually 140 divided by four. It's 35 each. Our kale was 110. Guys, that was pretty good profit right there. 110 for one. Our foraging, our daffodil, we got 30. That was our free stuff. Our chub that we got was 50. Fishing's going to make you some good money starting off. So if you guys have good luck days, go mining or go fishing. Look at this. The quartz was worth 25. The earth. Now, if you actually had a, um, a furnace and you burned it, and you made it into a refined quartz, that actually goes up to 50. So that refined quartz actually goes up to 50. Earth crystals are worth 50, and the copper ore is worth five. Keep all the copper ore. I only sold it so you guys can actually see how much you can make if you did have to sell it. But you never want to sell it. So there we go, guys. Eighth day of spring, year one. Thank you so much for joining us. Tomorrow you are going to see the ninth day of spring. I'll see you guys later. Love y'all. Good night.